I've got my Dell XPS 12 uh, convertible notebook here. And this is a pretty old notebook. It's over 10 years old, but I've never seen anything like this happen before. Look at the sticky, gluey mess uh, that came out of this notebook. You can even see it here on the top of the screen as well. Uh, this glue, this sticky substance, has come out of the touchscreen. So this has got the convertible uh, touchscreen that spins around. And the glue that embodies the inside of these things has just come out. And it's seeped out from the edges and into the keypad area here. Uh, and thankfully not on the touchpad, but it just oozed its way all the way around on the palm rest. And it's just nasty glue everywhere. And there isn't a fix for this. I mean, if I can get this off the notebook, I'll be happy. Uh, but really, I just got to get this touch screen out of here and throw it away and get a replacement screen for it or just throw away the whole laptop. But the laptop works great. It's been a good one for a while, but I had put it away for probably six months, haven't touched it. And then when I opened it up, this is what I found. It's just this wet, wet sticky glue everywhere. It's nasty. Um, and it just doesn't wipe off very easily either. You, you hit it with a, a paper towel and you're just kind of smearing it. It's not even coming up on the towel. It's just pushing it around. I'm going to hit some acetone on it. Hopefully that won't ruin the plastic, but it just doesn't come off. It's real, really thick. Now to take this laptop apart, I'm going to use one of these kits that you can get on Amazon. It comes with all the different pieces that you're going to need and every type of small bit to get to these very tiny little screws all around the laptop. They also give you some plastic prying parts here too that you can use to pry open the plastic because you're going to need to do that as well. These little guitar pick looking things helpful to lift the uh, laminated screen off of the housing. All right, at this point, we've got the old display off and just gonna go ahead and get rid of this thing so it doesn't continue to make a mess. Now I'm gonna try to clean off all the glue that's everywhere using some of this goof off. It's basically just acetone, but you can buy this in this small container. It's really handy for all kinds of, any kind of stickers that you've got and you gotta clean off the glue. You peel off the sticker and you leave glue behind, this stuff takes it right off. All right, after a lot of scrubbing and a lot of acetone, I was able to get all that grime off. There's still a little bit of sticky stuff here and there, but I think that'll just wear off over time. But the majority of it's gone. You can definitely touch it without getting goop all over your hands now. So I ordered a replacement screen. I'm just gonna pop this out on the backing here. Replacement screen came in, I got this from eBay. Took about a month to get here. Came direct from China. Uh, went right through a uh, the customs and all that. But it looks like to be an exact match. You can tell by some of the codes that are in indicated there. They shipped it really well. It came in a ton of bubble wrap in a big box, much larger than the size of the screen. So I expect this is going to work out just fine. Yeah, and everything looks to be the same does have the button included here and the XPS logo in the corner so that's what matches my my old unit so let's go ahead and get this installed and see how it does now these rotating portions here they only go in one way so if you've got it flipped and it's reversed you're going to need to take the screen out of the tray, rotate these uh, 180 degrees, and then they'll fit right in. If they don't fit in naturally on both sides, then you've got them reversed.
getting this uh, long plug here to connect just right, you're definitely gonna be reliant on that piece of tape there to draw it forward because there's really no slack in here. So you get it lined up just about right and then just draw it forward using that piece of tape to pull it into place. So now that I've got the button screwed down here at the bottom, the camera screwed back in at the top, and I've got the sides here in the right slots, but with everything tucked away, should be able to put the back of the uh, laptop on here and let's get this bolted down. I'm gonna go ahead and do a test. All right, that's a good sign. All right, so it looks like we got everything connected right. Let's finish screwing the rest of it back together. All right, we got it booted up, got logged in, everything's working here. Um, very happy with how this came out. We're back to normal. Hey, one thing I noticed, I forgot to put some interior screws in. There's four of these somewhat larger screws. They're all very tiny, but these four are a little bit thicker, just a little bit. And they are used on each side of the hinge. So they're on inside here, one, two, and three and four and those are gonna go in before you do the outside screws, before you put the case on the back. So I forgot to put those four in. Um, I probably will skip them. I don't think they're that crucial, uh, but those were needed to go inside here on that little metal flange that attached to the touch screen, so. And when this screen comes shipped to you, there's actually a plastic coating to protect it. Don't forget to peel that off. Hey, I hope this video was helpful to learn a little bit more about how to swap out your screen on your XPS 12. And I hope this information was useful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.